Local airlines are bracing for an exodus of Christmas travelers. They say passenger volume will not be as high as the previous years, but they are seeing an encouraging sign for air travel as flights have reached 80% of the maximum capacity this holiday season. Air Asia for one has added 21 flights to various local destinations per week. Pagdating sa usaping Pasko, alam natin na uh, yung mga kababayan natin, hindi mapipigil ng uh, pandemya yung kagustuhan nila na makasama yung kanilang mga mahal sa buhay and makauwi sa kanilang kanila mga probinsya. Cebu Pacific is looking at requiring its passengers to undergo antigen testing on top of the swab results that they need to present. It is now conducting a two-week pilot run on passengers bound for General Santos City. Antigen tests will be free during the period. But after December 14, passengers will be charged 700 pesos for the process. We want to reduce the risk of infection between the time the test is taken to the time that passengers board their flight. Passengers have differing opinions on the additional testing requirement. Abala sa ano nila, ginagawa nila. May swab test na naman kami, tapos pagdating dito, swab test na naman. Okay din siya at least, pag uwi namin doon, di ba yung mga love ones namin, at least mano namin na safe sila. For its part, the Philippine Airlines has started offering discounted RT-PCR testing for its passengers. Ticket holders may avail of a 500 peso discount from the regular rate of 4,500 pesos at Pulse testing site in Ermita, Manila. To ease the burden of passengers, the tourism department also partnered with UPPGH to partly subsidize the swabbing of domestic travelers. They plan to absorb half of RT-PCR testing costs, which PGH originally priced at 1,800 to 1,900 pesos. Airports are expecting more arrivals after the government allowed the visa-free entry of Filipinos with foreign passports starting December 7. This is a major milestone. This is a major breakthrough because ito nga yung sakit ng ulo ng ating balikbayans noon na simula pa ng pandemya, dapat uh, they should, let's say former Filipino citizens, let's say naging U.S. citizen ka, hindi ka makakapalik unless you get a Philippine passport, di ba? The aviation industry, which is among the hardest hit by the pandemic, is banking on eased restrictions and improving passenger confidence for their survival. For News 5, Gerard de la Peña, we are One News.